There are legends that tell us about some wonderful and incredible creatures that we thought never existed. However, these legends were not created from scratch. Usually, they are based on some actual creature that existed once upon a time. Ready to join the Americano team? Then make sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of our interesting videos ever again. With that being said, let's begin. Unicorns Do you remember seeing these beautiful creatures in fairy tales? Well, there are two animals that can be said to be unicorns. The only thing though is that they lack magic powers, but they are still quite impressive. The first is the giant Siberian unicorn. It's an Asian rhino that lived mainly in Russia and Central Asia. These creatures used to measure about 2 meters tall by 4.5 meters long. Very, very large. In fact, it's believed that this is one of the possible origins of the unicorn legend that we have today. It was previously believed that they were extinct 350,000 years ago. But new research published in 2016 notes that they were actually extinct 29,000 years ago. Do you know what this means? Well, these huge animals lived with humans for thousands of years, since the oldest fossils of our species in Siberia date back 45,000 years. Our other unicorn lives in the ocean. Its name is the narwhal, and it's a whale that inhabits the Arctic and the North Atlantic Ocean. It's known as a marine unicorn because males have a left canine tooth consisting of a spiral fang. This fang can reach 3 meters in length, and it resembles a horn like a unicorn. Some females also have this fang, while there are males that have two, but this is not a common occurrence. Scientists still do not know for sure what this fang is for. The last thing that they've learned about it is that it would be used to maybe stun fish before eating them, something that was discovered in 2017. Wolves have always been very popular, especially because of television shows like Game of Thrones. But don't think that being part of a famous series is a fictional existence because these huge animals really existed. The giant wolf is an extinct species of wolf that was huge. It measured about 1.5 meters long and could weigh up to 78 kilograms. They lived in an area that spanned from North America all the way down to Argentina. They fed on the fauna that existed in their time and it's believed that they disappeared along with their prey about 10,000 years ago when these animals became extinct due to climate change and the impact of humans in the area. However, that hypothesis has not yet been proven, so their mass death remains a mystery. According to a study in 2005, these terrible wolves had one of the most powerful bites in the history of all canines. Although we could not coexist with these impressive creatures, fortunately there is a giant deposit of these species in Los Angeles, where you can see around 3,500 of them. So, if you want to have a taste of what it's like to live in the Winterfell, surrounded by Hungarian wolves, you can visit this museum to get an idea of what these wonderful beings were like. Dragons Huge creatures with sharp toothed wings and spitting fire, they are the protagonist of many fantasy stories. Most of the time, we're glad they're just fiction, because can you imagine having to live with these intimidating creatures? But don't relax too much, because as surprising as it may seem, dragons were and are as real as you and me. That's right, don't think you're listening incorrectly. Dragons did exist, and the scariest part is that they still do. If you don't believe me, hold on. Imaginary dragons appear in all cultures as an allegorical representation of power, defects, and virtues. They have their origins in real animals, right? Probably, in the very beginning of time, the legend originates with poisonous snakes, probably very large snakes. These long, thin animals would be capable of injecting a deadly fire if it bit you. The snakes, being as dangerous as they are, aren't necessarily as scary as some larger animals. Thus, the dragon legend began to acquire traits of largest reptiles like crocodiles, monitor lizards, etc. The word dragon itself comes from the ancient Greek word dracon, which means serpent or viper and it's been represented throughout history in many mythologies, both Eastern and Western. The myth probably has its origin in the appearance of fossils of dinosaurs, some of great size. However, today there is still a very fearsome dragon which exists, although it's not as big as some of the historical lore. It is the Komodo dragon, also known as the Komodo monitor lizard. It's the largest living lizard in the world, usually measuring between 2 and 3 meters and weighing around 70 kilos. This animal has existed for 5 million years, 
but the species to which it belongs dates from 40 million years ago. Their ancestors are indeed the dinosaurs who lived in the Triassic period, more than 200 million years ago. We recommend that if you happen to visit the islands of Komodo or its surroundings, avoid getting near these huge reptiles because we assure you that they are terrible predators and they won't think twice about attacking birds, beasts, or humans. The Hydra Do you remember in the film Hercules when he fights against a huge beast with several heads? That mythological beast is known as the Hydra and it really exists, but don't be scared. Although it's quite impressive, it's not as terrifying. In Greek mythology, the Hydra was an ancient and ruthless aquatic monster in the shape of a serpent with several heads and a poisonous breath. Hercules killed this creature in the second of his 12 accomplishments. The Hydra possessed the virtue of regenerating two heads for each one that was lost or amputated. The battle between Hercules and the Hydra is not only a frequent theme in literature, but also the arts of Greco-Roman antiquity. The scene is represented in paintings on ceramics, sculptures, and mosaics. On the other hand, coins have been found with this mythological motif. The abundance of written and iconographic sources make us aware of the great interest the Greeks and Romans had for this epic confrontation. Today, we feel interested in it because it is an awesome creature that really exists and is really very, very impressive. But of course, it's not like that Greek monster. Many subspecies are part of the Hydra family, which are organisms that measure around 10 millimeters. They are hermaphrodites, and they feed by hunting other creatures with their tentacles. However, the most striking feature of them is that scientists say they could be immortal. A study published in 2015 discovered that these marine animals don't age like humans, but they remain young, seemingly forever. In fact, researchers conducted the study initially to determine whether or not Hydra could actually die. They tried on many occasions to kill these Hydra, but their cells kept regenerating. Apparently, there might be a lot there to learn about life and death. The Hobbits Existed If you haven't seen it yet, you probably have heard about the movie The Lord of the Rings, which is a story based on books of the same title. These books and the movie chronicle the adventures of a group of mythical creatures which are related, among which are the protagonists belonging to a species known as hobbits. Well, these creatures are not only part of these fantastic stories, but recent research shows that they might have very well existed. In 2003, an international team of scientists discovered the remains of an unknown species of humans of small stature. This was in Indonesia. It was there that the remains of seven peculiar individuals were found. They weighed between 16 and 30 kilograms, and they measured a meter in height. Their bones were robust and wide, and their skull was about 380 cubic centimeters. The brain size was calculated to be about the size of an orange, smaller than a chimpanzee. They cooked their food with a diet that included rodents, dwarf elephants, and bats. They hunted in groups with tools made out of stone. They were human, but they were not of our species. The species was named the Homo floresiensis. At first, it was believed that they inhabited the island only 12,000 years ago. But recent discoveries suggest that these creatures are from a much earlier era. In fact, it's thought that they lived sometime between 190,000 and 50,000 years ago. Therefore, it's very likely that they interacted with the first modern humans who began to inhabit Southeast Asia about 50,000 years ago. Because of their small stature and amazing anthropological accomplishments, this species has been nicknamed the Hobbit. We can't call this a creature though, because they are humans. In fact, they do share common ancestry with Homo sapiens, meaning that they are related to us. That said, they are very different, so different that they need and deserve their own species. So what do you think? Do you think that Hobbits and humans coexisted? If so, what kind of interactions would they have had? What would the outcome of those interactions have been? Would it have been war or something else? What's really interesting is that if you look around the world in various traditions, you always find artists, whether they're written word artists, visual artists, musical artists, etc. They use some of the same concepts. And it's amazing that the Hobbit that we know and love because of Lord of the Rings has something in common with the discovery all the way in Indonesia. The Loch Ness Monster Sighting 
What you're about to see shows a strange underwater creature floating around boaters who in a million years never expected to see and record what you're about to see. People claim this to be the realest footage to ever exist of the legendary mythical creature of the Loch Ness Monster. Here it is. Pixie remains discovered in bird of prey nest. The footage you're about to see shows a miniature partial human skeleton. The skull, spine, ribs are present although the limbs, lower jaw, and pelvis are missing. A five pence piece is also present in the images to give an indication of scale. If these are genuine, then this is the smallest humanoid remains ever discovered. But how did they appear in a falcon nest? Who knows, but here it is. Unicorn Sighting What you're about to see shows the most realistic footage of what appears to be a unicorn, one of the most famous mythical creatures that was ever told. I think we all understand that there are quite a number of hoax videos of unicorns out there, but this one is the most believable one that exists today. Most people believe this to be real, but what do you think? Here it is. Werewolf Sighting A possible hybrid werewolf was photographed in a city near Mato Grosso in Brazil. The mystery creature which was snapped by police CCTV cameras appeared to show a huge bipedal monster running down the main street in the city of Tres Lagos in Brazil. This image was released by a city official that has been scrutinized by several forensic photography experts who state that this bizarre image is indeed authentic and is not the work of hoaxers. People claim this to be the first real image of a werewolf, but what do you think? Mermaid Sighting The tales of mermaids have been around for thousands of years. Men have told these tales of beautiful and dangerous creatures who live primarily beneath the sea, and you are about to be the witness of one. A second camera captures what appears to be a mermaid 3,000 feet deep off the coast of Greenland. Many and many claim this to be real and some claim it to be a hoax, but what? Do you think you be the judge? Here it is. Oh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 